The first reported wall of death was Coney Island, right around 1913. There was one on every major midway back in the heyday, the 30s and the 40s. But I think at the peak, there was upwards of almost nearly 100 of them set up at any given time in America. There's only four left, though. I fell into it. I just happened to be at the right place at the right time and met a girl named Samantha Morgan. And when I saw her ride, it was one of the coolest things I'd ever seen in my life. And shortly after I met Sam, she passed away. We haven't changed the history of it all. The show we do is pretty much the same show they were doing, the same things they say 100 years ago. We take the building apart and put it together by hand everywhere we go. This building is 20, almost 23 foot diameter, um, 13 foot tall, and it's it all fits on a semi-trailer. It's so hard to find dedicated people who are willing to do this. Nobody's lasted. I, I, it's, it's at the point now I can barely keep it going, and. I found two people who were totally dedicated. You wanna go first? Sure. I'm Max DeBonet, I'm here in Florida to ride the wall of death. I'm Sandra Stacks. Yeah. I'm also here learning, trying to learn to ride the wall of death. I get like choked up thinking about it because I got so excited. It's like everything I loved smushed all together. Nobody's seen anything like this before unless it was years ago. I've had people come up and say they started with their grandparents. It's an art. It's something that nobody sees anymore. It's, it's unfortunately, it's, it's a dying art unless we keep it alive and we actively keep it alive. It's a piece of American history. I know I'm not the greatest wall rider in the world by far, but I know how to run a show. I know how to do the show. Um, and I've got plenty of friends that can help me teach these kids to be great wall riders, to carry the tradition on. And it'll be the only traveling, family owned, family ridden show in America, which I think would be cool. Um, and Sam would be proud. There'd be another wall of death out there.